Hi guys, Cliff here. Um, I've been wanting to build a um, very early aeroplane for quite some time. Uh, the earliest plane I've built so far is my Torb, which is I have a 19, pre-1910 anyway. Lovely looking design with like bird-like wings. Um, however, I want to build something a little bit older than that. Uh, so I've always been intrigued, and I'm sure a lot of you have, by Leonardo da Vinci's designs. Uh, now, as we know, Leonardo uh, designed all sorts of things from uh, mechanical devices based on uh, nature, birds, and anything else he could find, from, you know, um, the giant crossbow, the um, trapeze, do they call it? The thing that flicks stones, his helicopter design and his uh, ornithopter design and gliders, all sorts of things. So um, anyway, with that in mind, I thought it'd be rather fun to build a Leonardo inspired design uh, with a modern twist. Uh, so it's going to have a motor, <laughs> something which Leonardo didn't have. So I've decided uh, to lay out a bit of paper. I've got a couple of printouts of Leonardo's um, style and I've started drawing something up. Carbon rod ribs, if you want to call them, with a nylon possibly covering. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, really looking forward to, to um, drawing this thing up and getting it into the air. So uh, you'll be able to follow my design right from uh, the very beginnings and see how we get on. Exciting. Okay, guys, chat to you later. Okay, this is what I've got so far, basing it on loosely on that shape. Well, quite accurately on that shape, actually, because I've drawn a grid line and transferred it to the sheet of paper and a bat, which is what Leonardo would have based it on. I've come up with this. So I'm thinking plywood for that piece and then continuing on down, continue, continue on down with a bit of carbon and then block there with a piece of carbon going down to there point and one more piece of carbon going down to that point and that will give me that sort of shape and just shy of one meter wingspan uh, so one piece of carbon two pieces of carbon three pieces of carbon Quite light, maybe three mil, maybe two mil. A block there for it to glue into on the back of that uh, leading edge. Now that's the cord. These are three centimeter squares, by the way. So one, two, three, four, five, 15 centimeters there. Um, going back down here for further seven, maybe. So quite a decent wing area. And the vest would be, I'm thinking, would have to be something like lightweight nylon. Not quite sure how it will fit at this stage. How about pocket there? Pocket there for the spars to go in. Pop them in, sort of spring them in, glue there. And maybe just as simple as a bit of Velcro over the front edge maybe. Maybe that would work. Anyway, that's the wing shape. And now I'm going to go for a tail shape. Um, it's a combination of different features. This, I think, is the tail shape for the ornithopter. Uh, obviously, the moment arm's way too short. I've got to extend the body down to the length of his um, flying machine, which had a, like a V-tail. But it'd be rather nice to have a V-tail with ribs as opposed to a... Um, solid structure or maybe it could be balsa wood with some ribs over the top to simulate maybe that would be a good thing I don't know, still thinking about that but that's what I've got so far so it's looking pretty good I think done a little bit more to the fuselage um, top view, plan view that is and side view I've gone for what I'm thinking now is um, light ply base here and then two quarter inch square spruce spars, not spruce, sorry, hard balsa spars going down to the back. 
uh, ending that then there and then there's a um, plate in there balsa lightish to pick up the tail plane which will be interlinked at the bottom so I'm just thinking now I was thinking about what's going on I was thinking about the shape of F1 I've decided I've ordered up a in runner motor quite a small one so instead of mounting it flat square onto the front of the um, F1 which look really ugly big flat plate I'm thinking something along the lines of a uh, I'm good at drawing something along the lines of a in runner motor that's possibly the shape of F1 now something like that and then a hole in there which has the in runner motor going into it and coming out the other side something like that and coming out the front and then the whole thing encased in like a um, wrap of balsa or a tube of some sort which I can paint um, brown and it looked like a sort of wood a wood finish so it's all sort of in wooden hidden uh, and maybe the front of the motor for cooling there's your motor um, and then there's a that's the wrap going around the outside of it this might be about scale size actually and then some balsa this front view don't forget balsa around the outside holding it off the motor so it's got air flowing over the casing um, something like that and that's got a bit of style and shape to it something like Leonardo would design some of the details are still undecided exactly how I'm going to fix the trailing edge and what have you but it'll come to me so what I'm thinking is I might start to cut out either the fuselage or look at that shape I really want to cut that out um, initially I'll cut the ply the balsa uh, sorry the body out of all balsa and I thought I'd make this out of say a lamination to start with just for me um, 1 16th or 1 mil I think I've got some 1 mil ply with balsa top and bottom decided I'm going to start with the um, fuselage I've got a fairly hard piece of 1 8 here mark that to length which will be that's about half circle I can always trim it down there to there I did say it's quite a hard piece of wood lovely Okay, um, got to cut that down to a maximum width of six centimeters. Take a seat, Cliff. Take a seat. Jeff. Use large base, including the bit around at the front. And that side is going to go on there. That's to taper from there. This is where the fun is for me. Well, different sort of fun, isn't it? Completely different sort of fun. Just make sure they're straight and square. Right, that's the fuselage base. That's that bit there. And then my quarter inch square hardwood is going to go there. And then that air side gets sanded off, equivalent of that actually, of course. I suppose the other thing actually doesn't need to get sanded off, does it? If I cut that, recut cut it so as it sits all the way in there, that'd be better actually. Okay, that's better. Better shape. 
and go like that. And then that will go straight in there like that. Oh, I know why I angled it. Because in Pratt now, I? I angled it because I don't want this to go straight back. I wonder if I can sort of bend it in. It might bend. It's hard wood though. Let's go to plan C, which is where I caught a wrench there. And I just take it straight back to there. Okay, now that will go on there. That will go just there. And then that will go down there to there. It doesn't need to go past the elevator, so there's no reason why those two pieces would can't join. So this piece of quarter inch needs to taper to that. So these pieces are going to come down. That piece of quarter inch. Now the way I'm going to do this is to pin it through. Let's bring that up there. Pin there. Because it's quite hard to see one pin hole, I'd like to put in two or three. Okay, like that. So that's my triangular piece for the back. I'm gonna go in there like that. Okay, well let that set off a bit. Decided what I'm going to do. I've cut both of these now to, to size and put a little curvy bit on the end there. Look, it's rather smart. Okay, that's going to go in there, down there like that. And I'll just pop a pin in there to hold it. Pop a pin in and. While the fuselage is drying, I thought I'd have a go at cutting out the tailplane. Okay, so that goes like that. And then in theory, this will just glue into there. Like that. Make for a really strong joint. Then I just sand the bottom of that flat and that will then mount on there.